everyone, it's Cajun DIY Diva, and today we're going to paint this bass. We're going to attempt this. I'll probably change the picture a little bit just to kind of make it my own, but I saw this online and I thought it was pretty. So um, I'm going to attempt it. So um, what I really like is the shape of it. So it's got a different, you know, it's a definitely like a wide mouth bass, but it's not your typical, it's kind of abstract, and I love the way it's like turned around like there's the back end of it coming out that way and so I'm going to draw it with black paint so that you can see it better I did it with um, on another video I drew with a black um, just a regular marker and it the colors kind of blended so I um, I, I didn't mind it too much but I think this might be a better way. So what I'm doing is um, you've got kind of a, a hump right here and that's the mouth. And then the body is just, it's kind of like, looks like a vase turned on its side. So that's the body of the fish. And then the kind of bottom lip is just kind of a line that comes out like that. So there's its mouth, here's its eye, and then over here it kind of makes sort of like a lip almost and it comes like this and then it kind of just comes around. So, and then uh, we have the gills right here. So there's your fish anatomy. And then the tail of the fish kind of is whipping around the backside. And I wanted to make it look a little bit more like a real fish. I mean, of course, this doesn't really look like a real fish. But that's going to be the tail right there. And uh, the background is abstract and everything so I'm gonna let this black paint dry it is um, I did another video where I started with a black paint outline and um, I, I actually enjoy painting with a black paint outline because it's a, just a different technique so I'm gonna let this dry oh it does have a kind of a little fin over here and uh, I'm gonna let this dry and uh, I'll come back and I'll see you in a minute. Hi, so I'm back. So uh, my painting is dry and now I want to start painting. Uh, the, you really get into it and let's start painting. So I'm going to take some phthalo blue, mix it with some white, lighten it up a little bit. Phthalo blue is very dark and I'm just going to paint some of the water in the background and I'm just kind of scrubbing it in just very kind of short strokes just kind of you have to keep reloading your brush and just keep blending that phthalo blue with the white and I kind of like want to make the the water looks like it's kind of swirling around so I am going to dip my brush in white and kind of you know paint it paint it kind of surrounding the fish I love phthalo blue it's one of my favorite colors I hope you can see this well And so you can do, experiment with the values, and values are the lightness and the darkness. So I'm going around the fish, and I'm going to sometimes put maybe a little dark, a little darker color phthalo in there, and just kind of make it look like the water's kind of swirling around the fish. You can do darks. You can put dip your brush in white and maybe do some lights. 
and just let it kind of blend in. And let's add some blue over here under his back fin, under his fishtail. And now I'm going to start adding some different colors. So I think I'm going to add at the bottom, I'm going to do some yellow. So I'm going to start out just scrubbing in some yellow. And this is chrome yellow. And I think I want to add some white to it because chrome yellow is very, very sheer. And white helps it look more opaque. And I did have something drawn on this canvas prior to this painting that I do want to cover up. But I'm just going to block in that yellow color as kind of a base. I'll bring it all the way up here to the blue. And I'm just going to scrub it in all the way around. Now I think I'll pick up a little red, mix it with some yellow to make a little bit of orange and just kind of start scrubbing some of that in. We're so just kind of making some different colors in the background. And I think I'll add some more white. I just want the white to to have some areas that are light that have a lot of lightness to them. And now I'll pick up a little bit of phthalo green and let some greens come into this and just kind of let them kind of go in, in a direction kind of like we were doing before where it's just kind of surrounding the fish so it's kind of this circular direction and I'll bring in some green on this side too And I'll just let it kind of swirl up that way. It almost looks like like it could be reeds in the water. And now I'm going to, let's see, take some of that red and darken it maybe a little bit with some of the blue. And put in some dark, like this is the dark bottom of the of the ocean, the pond, wherever he is, the lake, wherever it is he's swimming. And when that red and that blue blended, some of the green blended and it's almost making a brown effect, but I really like it. I'm going to bring some of that over on this side. I'll let it kind of swirl up this way. Now I'll go back to the green, maybe do some darker, bolder strokes of green. Because maybe that's like some plant life that's surrounding the fish. And just come into the yellow a little bit. Okay. So now I think I'll wash my brush and I'm going to take make a little more orange with some yellow and red and brush over here across the top. Now this this is just kind of representing maybe he's close to the surface and the sun is kind of shining on top of him. And so I'll give his um, tail some of this light color. And this is just meant to be 
symbolic of the sun. Maybe I'll do a little brighter yellow in there at the top. Of course the paint's wet so it's kind of blending and I think I still have some. I think I didn't clean my brush well enough so I still had a little green in there. The beauty of abstract whimsical paintings like this is if you mess up and you leave some paint on your brush that really wasn't supposed to be there, you just make it work. You just kind of blend it in and make it make it happy. Okay, so now I think I'll take um, some red and white and maybe make some kind of a, a lighter not super pinky but kind of some pink colors to add into him and around his eye I kind of want to make him do kind of a circular streak around his eye and I'll add some white to that too just so he's kind of wide-eyed you know and I'll do some white around his mouth and the inside of his mouth I'll go back to that purple that we made the red and the blue and do a kind of a purpley brown right here and let's just put some of that color that purpley color. It almost looks black because I'm using phthalo blue. And phthalo blue, when it mixes sometimes, it looks very black. So now I'm going to add, go back to some phthalo blue mixed with white, lightened up a little bit, and just kind of give him some blues. He's got the blues. He's, he's, you know, trying to avoid a hook. And so I'm adding some phthalo blue right here. It's kind of, this is kind of like on um, his lower body, the part that's not kind of touching the sunlight. So his lower body has more of the blues and his upper body has some yellows. Now I'll take some of some more of the blue and I want to give him some blue around his mouth. It's almost like a lip area that he's got right there and put a little blue right here. Now I'm going to go back to the green. I want to think some of the green is reflecting. And I, I wasn't too sure about that thin shape, so I'm just going to do some brush strokes and not really make it a super defined thin. And I think I'm just going to use the green and kind of just give them some, some areas of green here are little touches here and there of green and put some in his tail maybe make some little lines that signify that sharp tail that he has it's kind of sharp and you know if it kicks you with that tail it would probably hurt and that's probably a defense of his I think I'll put a little red in there, in that tail part, because I kind of want to emphasize that tail. I just think it's something that he's proud of, and, you know, he likes his tail, and I think I'm going to go over this outline that I drew, because I want to kind of blur the edge of that outline, so that you don't see it so much anymore. Now I'm going to kind of go around his outline here with some red just for kind of drama. I just think it's adding drama here and there to him. I'm 
Let me put a little red right there in his mouth. And I think I'm going to go back to the blue. Go back to this phthalo blue and just again add a little more blue. I was losing the blue a little bit. I just wanted to add a little bit more. And now I think I'll add some white highlights with the smaller brush. Most of my white has a little yellow in it, but that's okay. So I'll do a little white highlight around his his mouth, over here, kind of on that bottom lip, on this, this side of his mouth, on this side, over here, around his outline a little bit, just a little bit, and probably a little bit on his tail, just to brighten it up. And I think that's about done. So. Uh, the main part of this lesson is to have fun with your colors, experiment. I think maybe his eye needs to be a little yellow. He's, he's just, whoo, he's just really worried, you know. He has a worried look to him right now. And there you have it. So this is Cajun DIY Diva. I hope you enjoyed this painting tutorial. Uh, please leave me a comment if you enjoyed this tutorial. Please check out my other painting videos. I also have cooking videos and DIY videos and even some travel videos. So please check them out and come back and see me for my next video. Thank you.